So before we begin today, check this out. How rad is that? What's up everybody, it's Mads here from Mad 76 Finally today I am putting together my big three video for you guys and I'm looking for any advice and help that uh, you guys may be able to comment and share with me. So many of you no doubt will be asking what is my big three? Now basically when it comes to wild camping and backpacking, my big three items will be my shelter system, my backpack and also my sleep system. Now usually those are the three that cost the most, weigh the most and are the largest items within your backpacking and wild camping setup. Now my current setup weighs a whopping five and a half kilograms. Now that is quite some weight and I can certainly reduce that down and I'm hoping that you guys can give me some help and advice today on that. Now a bit of a disclaimer and a bit of a heads up, I've already bought a new backpack which I'll show you today and I've also upgraded my tent to the MSR NX1. Nevertheless, I'm still looking for ideas and help and trying to get that base weight down to about three kilograms for my big three today. But before we get started today, if you like what you see, then why not subscribe, hit that like button, or give me a comment below. It all helps towards my channel. But that aside, I'm still gonna show you my original setup when I initially planned to put this video out for you guys. So I'll show you my original Osprey backpack, and I'll also show you my original Alpkit Soloist tent within that five and a half K. And then I'll show you what I've upgraded and progressed to and what the overall weight is. So first of all, I'll show you the backpack that I've been using all summer. Um, that is the Osprey Kestrel. It's a 48 litre bag. Um, it does come in at a great weight of 1.7 kilograms or just over. So it is quite a weight of a bag. Um, it does come with a hell of a lot of pockets and a lot of places you can put stuff in. I really, really do rate this bag. However, I'm trying to fine tune get that overall weight down and that's why this bag will be upgraded shortly and I'll show you what I've upgraded to. I won't go into too much detail on the bag but uh, one of its greatest features I find is this mesh pocket at the front. It's also got the brain with two um, storage pockets in the top. Also underneath the brain there's like a mesh pocket which is really good to keep quick um, access things. We've got two very long side pockets with zippers on and also two really reasonably sized uh, mesh pockets for your water bottles. Also uh, substantial hip belt pockets, um, as well as the usual bits and pieces. There's a bottom section which you can access, which um, is ideal for your sleeping bag and your sleep system. But overall, it's a really, really good bag. Um, I've had this for a couple of years and I put it to a lot of great use. So that's my bag, that's it in a nutshell. So moving on to my shelter system, this is the Alpkit Soloist tent. Uh, this weighs uh, around about 1200 grams, so 1.2 kilograms. Um, I really, really do rate this tent. It's a one person, three season tent. It's got an inner and an outer, and it's got a front entrance. And what I would suggest you do is check my video out on the review of this, where you can see the pros and the cons on this particular tent. Also in this bag today, I've got the footprint, which weighs 133 grams. So that bumps up the overall weight to about 13 and a half. But overall, really, really good tent and highly recommend it. Now your sleep system has many components to it. That will be your sleep mat, your sleeping bag, a pillow, and probably an under mat as well. Now I'll show you some of those bits and pieces that I've been using all this time, and I'll show you later on in the video the bits that I've actually upgraded to. So getting on to one of the main components of a sleep system, that's your sleeping bag. Now this is my current sleeping bag. Um, something I do really, really want to upgrade. This is the Snug Pack Chrysalis 3. It's rated down to about a minus five or a minus six. Um, however, I wouldn't obviously take it down to that. It's a synthetic bag, and as you can see, uh, it's quite a weight, and that's in this uh, third party stuff sack. It will go down a little bit smaller, but ideally I'd like to upgrade to something much lighter and compresses a lot smaller. Now this current weight, again, we're talking uh, 1600 grams to about 1700 grams. 
um, which is quite a hefty weight and something definitely you can shave some of the weight off to bring your bag and your pack size down. So also in my sleep system is my sleeping mat. Now this is a thermal sleep mat and it's a Sea to Summit uh, ultralight insulated mat. I really, really rate this and value this. Um, it's about the size of a very large water bottle compared to other things on the market. I think it really, really does perform well. And you will see in my other um, wild camping videos, this sleep mat really put to the test. Now, one other part of the um, sleep system is this insulated mat that I put underneath that last sleeping mat. Now, this is just a cheap insulated mat I got off of Amazon. Uh, it cost me probably about eight pounds. Now, it's thin, it's light, it weighs about, I don't know, 150 grams, I think it is. Um, but this really serves me well. It retains the heat back up through the body and stops you losing that heat through the ground. Definitely recommend. So a quick update, this actually weighs 92 grams. So that 150 grams that I quoted is definitely wrong. It's half of that. So it's 92 grams for this thermal mat. So it's all a little bit cluttered here at the minute, as you can see, but basically um, you've got my backpack, which weighs 1700 grams. You've got my sleep system, so that's the sleeping bag, which again weighs about 1700 grams. You've got the sleep mat, which I think is about 500 grams. And then you've got that thermal mat, which is about 150 grams. Um, also, you've got the tent. Now that tent overall with the footprint is about 1300 grams. So all in all, this weighs approximately five and a half kilograms. Uh, give or take. So overall, I want to reduce this weight down to about the three kilograms mark or thereabouts. So moving on from the gear I've presently been using and using out in the field onto the gear that I've upgraded. So I'll start with my new backpack, which is the Osprey Exos 48. This backpack I was fortunate enough to see in a flash sale on black site. Um, I think it retails around about the 135 to 140 pounds mark. That's on average. However, I have seen it advertised for 180 pounds. That said, I did see this on a flash sale on black site and there was a 15% off on the bag, which took it down to about 117 pounds. And then in addition to that, I also received an email from Blacks giving me another 15% or 10% or whatever, which managed to get me this bag sub 100 pounds. So really, really stoked. I think I paid 97 pounds with the postage and packaging. Um, so for a bag that is uh, actually lighter than the previous bag, um, the same size and um, capacity, I think I've had a good deal here. Um, the weight of this bag is 1,150 grams. I think I've weighed it as, uh, it's advertised as 1.2 kilograms. So compared to my other Osprey bag, which was 1,700 grams, I'm saving myself in the region of about 500 to 550 grams, um, which is a really, really good weight saving straight out the gate. So that's my Osprey Exos 48 litre bag. Uh, I'm really looking forward to taking that out in the field. It's got all the same similar features. However, there's not so many pockets in this one like I did with my last bag. And I'm really looking forward to using it. So another upgrade, uh, which you will shortly see in my latest solo wild camping video is the MSR Hubber NX1 tent. Now this tent weighs approximately 1200 grams again. Um, there's an additional footprint in the region of about 100 grams that I purchased uh, on top of. So we're talking the same weight and probably a little bit more in size purely because there's a there's an outer fly sheet giving you that vestibule area. But um, all in all, it packs down into the same small bag, uh, waterproof bag that I always put my tents in and I'll pack the pegs the poles and everything else on the outside. So this is basically the same size and same weight, albeit an upgrade. And the upgrade where I benefit from is having that large vestibule area where I can cook now and stay dry. This tent is amazing. It's a beast. 
So that's my big three video guys that I've been promising you. You would have seen my original setup, which was five and a half kilograms to the two new bits of gear that I've um, upgraded. And yes, I've only trimmed off about 500 grams here on the backpack, but nevertheless, my sleep system, I'm trying to reduce that way. Now I will show you just some additional things that I bought towards my sleep system as we're heading into the winter. And I'll show you that now. So in my latest solo wild camping video, you will have seen this Lomo uh, thermal padded mat. Now this is half the price of the Thermarest equivalent, and I believe it's about an inch wider than the Thermarest equivalent. So it's half the price, slightly longer, um, and this should benefit me in my winter camps. Now it does weigh uh, an additional weight to the previous thermal uh, mat. Nevertheless, um, in the winter months, I think I'm gonna feel the benefits from this. So one of the things I really do need to upgrade this uh, winter is my sleeping bag. Now my current sleeping bag, the Snug Pack Chrysalis 3, is rated a three season sleeping bag. Now that's not gonna do me this winter. However, there's some additional things I can add to it but ideally I would like to upgrade to a down sleeping bag. So if anybody out there knows of a really respectable uh, down sleeping bag, a really good price, then please by all means give me a few comments below. I've had my eyes on Rab ones in the past and I know quilts are the way forward uh, watching all your videos out there, but ideally I want a sleeping bag and something that's very reliable and very warm. I wouldn't say I'm a cold sleeper, but I do like my luxuries. So with all that in mind, sticking with the sleeping bag that I've got and the rating that it goes down to minus five, I can still get away with some winter camps using that sleeping bag. Now, I bought this at the end of last year uh, from Alpkit and that's the, the cloud cover. And this is basically a down blanket more than a down quilt, but you can cinch it round like a quilt. Now I wouldn't be using this on its own, but in addition to my present sleeping bag, I feel as a, as a bit of luxury, um, and I think this weighs approximately 500 grams, that that can really benefit me during this winter. So I'm looking forward to using this bit of gear because obviously at the beginning of this year when I intended to go out wild camping, everything was on lockdown, and then we had a really warm summer. So really looking forward to using this bit of kit in conjunction with my sleeping bag. However, always on my radar is buying a new sleeping bag and I really, really would value your comments below on any recommendations. Right, so whilst I'm putting this video together, I thought I'd do a quick weigh test of my new gear. And that's the backpack. That's my MSR Hubba NX1 tent. And that's the, the normal thermal mat and also the Sea to Summit sleeping mat. So that's the normal gear that I would usually take. And just giving this a quick weigh. Now this comes in at 4.85 kilograms. So compared to the five and a half or the just over the five and a half for my last backpack, it's obviously come down about 700 grams. So I'm getting there. It's not the lightest. It's still not my three kilogram target, but lo and behold, it is coming down. Now that sleeping bag is 1700 grams. Now I reckon I could reduce that down to about a thousand or just over. So I could shave myself off another six or 700 grams. But as base weights go, 4.85, that's quite reasonable. So that's been my show and tell today. So you've seen my original um, Big 3 setup. You've seen what I've upgraded to. And also you've seen what my future um, winter setup could look like with the new thermal matting and also that Outkit cloud cover quilt um, that I've got in addition to my sleeping system. So I hope you like what you've seen today. I hope to bring you more videos uh, and more content of me using obviously this gear, some more wild camping adventures and more bits and pieces on gear tests and gear reviews. So stick around. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Mads from Mad76. We'll see you guys around. Take it easy. Kapoosh. Now being new to this YouTube game and filming everything on my GoPro um, and also doing this gear review, which is my first proper gear review, 
uh, within my little summer house. I just want to show you some behind the scenes footage of the, the mess and the clutter that's behind the camera lens, the stuff that you don't see, and all the pain and agony that I go to to just put this into a play for you guys today. I'm doing it for you just because it's the stuff that I like to watch from your videos um, and hopefully somewhere along the line this might benefit one of you guys for your setup and as always I'm always open to suggestions so if you see anything or you think oh you could do better here here and here then let me know in the comment section below thank you So one selfless bit of uh, self-promotion is why not follow me on Instagram under mad76 where you can follow me wild camping, hiking, the daily walks I do and all the other mischief I get up to. I'm really stoked on a video I just posted yesterday which is getting a lot of views and followers. Um, I can't show it on here because it's got a Fleetwood Mac song on it and YouTube won't allow that but what I can do is show you the short footage on my phone now and I suggest you go over to Mad76 where you can see it on there.